how to identify if your iPhone has been compromised in the first place. So first things first, how do you even know if your iPhone has a virus on it? Well, unlike a computer where you might get some big scary pop-up, iPhone viruses are sneakier and harder to detect. And here's the thing, because of how iOS is built with its sandboxing architecture, you can't just run a traditional virus scan like you would on a PC. So you have to resort to other measures just to figure out if something is wrong. Keep in mind though that none of these signs are a surefire way to know if your phone has been compromised. They're more like red flags that something might be up and they are worth checking out. So here's what you should look out for. First is unexpected slowdowns. Ever notice your iPhone suddenly lagging like it's stuck in slow motion? If it's just after opening too many apps, then really no big deal. But if it is a sudden noticeable slowdown out of nowhere, then that's when you should start paying closer attention. Another thing is random pop-ups or ads. Now, here's something that might catch your eye. If you're getting pop-ups or ads while browsing on Safari or another web browser, that's something that you should definitely pay attention to. These pop-ups could be a sign that you've stumbled onto a sketchy website or accidentally clicked on something that you probably shouldn't have. Safari on iPhone is built to prevent this kind of thing, but some pop-ups can get through the cracks. It's less about malware and more about cleaning up your system or browsing history, but let's be honest, no one wants their phone cluttered with annoying ads even if they're not a sign of something malicious. If you want to learn how to block ads, check out this video on the best ad blockers available on our channel. All right, next up is apps in your phone that you didn't install. This one's kind of like finding a mystery item in your grocery bag. If you see an app on your device that you're scratching your head thinking, I definitely didn't download this, then it's time to act fast. The easiest thing to do is just go ahead and delete it. If you wanna scroll through the entire list, you can either go to the app library and delete it from there, or head over to settings, tap general, then iPhone storage, and scroll through the entire list of apps there. And if you spot an app that you don't recognize, then just tap it, click delete, and it's better to be safe than sorry here. Battery drain, and if your iPhone battery is draining faster than a kid in a candy store, then this might be more than heavy usage on your device. Sure, using a lot of apps, streaming videos, or playing games can do this, but if your phone's heating up and the battery is tanking faster than usual with normal use, then you might have something sketchy running in the background. Malware often works quietly, siphoning off your data and power. However, iOS does a lot of tasks in the background, so make sure that it's not optimizing your photo library, downloading updates, or any other legitimate tasks that might use a lot of energy as well. These are just some of the things that you wanna look out for, but the key to staying safe is just to be alert and notice any changes in how your iPhone is usually operating. If you spot any of these signs, don't just brush it off, take some action. Next, you might wanna consider using some kind of security software. Now, I know we don't usually think about security software for iPhones, but there are some good ones out there. Bitdefender, for example, offers a solid iOS app with features like web protection and a built-in VPN. The only downside is that it is a bit limited compared to its full desktop version, but it's still a good layer of extra protection for your iPhone. If you're curious about Bitdefender and want to learn more, then check out the full review we recently made by clicking the link down in the description. It really does give you all the details that you need. Now, if you're not sure where to get started with all of this, I recommend running a quick scan with a security app like Bitdefender. It's easy to use and can help identify any potential threats that you may have missed. If you're curious about more ways to protect your devices, then check out our full Bitdefender review video, which goes into even more detail on what this security suite can do for you. The link is down in the description if you wanna check it out, and trust me, it is worth a watch. All right, so the big takeaway here is that it's all about being proactive. The more steps you can take to secure your iPhone, the less likely you are to encounter a problem in the first place. And remember that adding an extra layer of security with a tool like Bitdefender isn't a bad idea, especially if you're concerned about privacy and online safety. It offers features like real-time protection and a secure browser, which can give you that extra peace of mind. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more tech and cybersecurity content in future videos. And as always, if you have any questions or experiences that you want to share, then feel free to leave those down in the comments section as well. We would love to hear from you. But as always, stay safe online, and we'll see you next time.